Hello, I'm John Humphreys and welcome to a new series of Mastermind. The usual rules apply, two minutes on their chosen subject and two minutes on general knowledge. So, let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us please. And your name is? Rufus Fideo. Your occupation? Dentist. And your chosen subject? CQC compliance with regard to general dental practice. You have Dr. Fideo, two minutes on CQC compliance, starting now. What must be done to the sterile instruments as soon as they are removed from displacement steam steriliser and what is the consequence of carrying out this action? They have to be dried with a non-sterile cloth and put in non-sterile bags, thus rendering them no longer sterile. Correct. For how long can an open tray of instruments kept in a cupboard be used and why? Only until the end of the session, as over lunch fairies in the cupboards play with them and they become non-sterile. Yes, it used to be the case that if instruments sterilised by a type N autoclave were not used within 21 days, they had to go through the sterilisation programme again. Now that has been extended to a year. Why is that? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps they just pick any old number at random for no apparent reason. It's the right answer. Are the printouts of an automatic autoclave sufficient recording that the cycle has completed correctly? No. They must be manually transcribed as the ink is considered insufficient for long-term storage. Correct. What's the difference between a blood-soaked tampon and a blood-soaked cotton wool roll? One's municipal offensive hygiene waste and is okay to go to landfill, and the other is dangerous clinical waste and must be incinerated. Yes. If during a CQC inspection you are asked to explain what PITA stands for when written on a patient's notes, what would your answer be? Uh, patient is terribly anxious? Correct. In that using both hands to resheat the needle is no longer acceptable, what alternative is available? Holding the cap between your teeth, needles should not be capped or resheathed after use unless the risk is effectively controlled by use of suitable equipment. What evidence is there that use of auto-resheathing devices and automatic needle removers will reduce the number of needle stick injuries? There isn't any. Yes. What is the point of using dedicated colour-coded mops for cleaning different areas of the practice? There is no point unless cleaners, staff and patients wear dedicated footwear for different areas. Correct. Which way up should the mops be stored? With the head up, despite this ensuring the handle becomes contaminated. Yes. When hearing the instruction, remove clothing before placing pads on an automatic defibrillator, what should the dentist and nurse not do? Take off their scrubs? Yes. Why can't someone who has been circumcised be a CQC inspector? Pass. Why is the amalgam in a restored tooth stable and considered not toxic, whereas the amalgam left over from the mix is considered to be highly toxic and must be disposed of under stringent control? Because there's a magic elf in the amalgam gun that renders the amalgam safe? Yes. How many hand washing basins should there be ideally in a decontamination room? Two. One for male staff and one for female staff. Correct. What is it harder to find? The Holy Grail, or the person who drew up the HTM0105 guidelines? Uh, the Holy Grail? Yes. What is the evidence? I started so I'll finish, that the HTM0105 guidelines will protect patients. There isn't any. Is the right answer. And at the end of that round, you have, Dr. Fideo, 14 points. You passed on just one, which was, why can't someone who has been circumcised be a CQC inspector? And you'll be kicking yourself because you know the answer is because you have to be a complete prick to be a CQC inspector.